Okay, today's topic, beneficiaries. Who gets your money when you die? You go home to be with the Lord, somebody is going to get this money. <sighs> we have to put a beneficiary on things like life insurance, annuities, 401k plans, IRA plans, etc. So when you pass away, that person gets the money. That part's simple. The problem comes in is when there's a need for that beneficiary to be changed and it doesn't happen. For example, you get married, you're 20 years old, you and your husband or you and your wife uh, are, are marital bliss. 40 years later, husband dies. The wife never changed the beneficiary on her policy. When she dies, he's still the beneficiary. It can be fixed, but the point is it's very complicated. What's worse is, let's say, same situation. Husband and wife, they get married. 50 years later, she dies. Well, her mom was the beneficiary on her policy because her mom bought it when she was a kid. Worse yet, same couple. They get married. They get divorced. Years later, they both get remarried. They don't change the beneficiaries. Who gets the money? The ex. Period. You can't fight it. Beneficiaries pass outside of your will. It supersedes a will. So if you have somebody down as a beneficiary, they are getting it and or their estate is getting it. That's a whole nother video. The last one I want to leave you with is you get married you have a child and you say, okay, primary beneficiary, husband and wife. Follow me? Primary beneficiary, husband and wife. Contingent means mom and dad die at the same time. It can't happen. What's the natural reaction? Oh, I'll put down the kids. What if the kids are under 18? Now nobody can get at that money until that child hits the age 18. Some people, that's not a problem unless it's the money you need for the funeral. So... We're not even going to talk about IRA beneficiaries because that's a whole other topic too. Point is, there are things that financial advisors see every day that can't be fixed simply with one of these. Okay? Change the beneficiaries as needed. If you're unsure what who is the beneficiary, because when you change them, you're still looking at the original papers. Call the company that the money's with. Say, hey, who's my beneficiary? Please. Because if you don't, the problem is after you die. Thus, beneficiaries are important. Beneficiaries must be addressed. And it's something you should review on a normal basis every couple of years. So, stay safe. Bye. <laughs>